number one source for the sports gamer. What's good, people? And with the new swap mechanic that was added this year to help us in defending the deep ball, more specifically aggressive catching, I felt it was time to make a pros and cons vid of each tool we have at our disposal to prevent us from ending up with somebody's personal highlight reel. And I've asked these four gentlemen to assist me in figuring this thing out. Let's get to it. We'll start with the new feature attempting to go for the SWAT, which is X on Xbox One and Square on PS4. First off, it doesn't seem to matter who you have at cornerback when you go for the SWAT as much as it does at receiver, which is good. Because although swatting the ball makes it a low percentage play regardless, Julio Jones still caught it more often than Devontae Parker. And is able to trigger the catch, the SWAT animation denies so often to a lesser receiver. And although going for the SWAT has the best chance of breaking up the pass out of the three, it also has the highest chance of giving up a touchdown by the corner getting ragdolled if the receiver catches it. So majority of people will find that trade off worth it, especially against the dominant receivers. But for the risk averse, Swatton will serve best on passes towards the end zone, where who cares if the receiver breaks the tackle at that point, right? Next up is Play the Receiver, which is A on Xbox One and X on PS4. When playing a receiver, you substitute the higher chance of successfully breaking up the pass for the security and not getting beat after the receiver catches it. As a result, it allows the star receivers to catch deep passes at a much higher rate, no matter who you have at cornerback. And even average receivers can get busy. Because the gist of playing the receiver is the corner will let him catch the ball first and either try to smack the ball out of his hands or knock his feet out from under him. So it lends itself to the receiver catching more passes than normal. But will put the cornerback into better position to make the tackle if the receiver does catch it. So I definitely wouldn't use this near the end zone, but against Julio Jones, Des Bryant, Garrett the catch to prevent the 70 yard touchdown might not be a bad idea. And last is everybody's favorite, going for the interception which is Y on Xbox One and Triangle on PS4. The thing I like most about going for the interception is the rate that you get an interception is dependent on who the receiver and cornerback is. Your best chance to get a pick is when the cornerback clearly has a matchup advantage over the receiver. On the flip side, you want to avoid going for the interception when the receiver is the one with the advantage. Because although you will snag a few in the long run, you're going to see every type of catch imaginable caught on you if you're going for an interception with the Marcus Burley types against Julio Jones. But two equally matched guys will bring out the best and worst in each other. And what I mean by that is if you were to match up Richard Sherman or Julio, they would each get their fair share of pass breakups, interceptions, and catches on each other. While two subpar players will also cancel each other out, but instead cause a lot of batted down passes. But will still favor the cornerback due to the possibility of tip interceptions to teammates when you go for the interception. So basically going for the pick is best used if you have a guy that can pull it off. Alright guys, stay tuned for more Madden 17 content soon. And if you liked the vid, please leave a like. It helps us out a lot. Thank you all for watching and be good y'all. good people and today I'm going to tackle the cover for its purpose, strengths, and how the new zone coverage is added to it and Madden 17 help it. Let's get to it. Cover 4 plays consist of 4 deep defenders who each cover a quarter of the field and 3 or 4 defenders underneath. Which depends on how many the base play you choose is rushing. The outside edge defenders will always play the new quarter flat assignment when you pick cover 4. Which means they man up on any inside receivers who's 